Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And the winner of the first winter-themed Fan Custom Friday is Minto. Minto was submitted to me by Rylan. Minto is a loud and obnoxious pony that loves snow days, and her favorite food is pepper. Peppermint. So let's get started making Minto. Rarity is going to be transformed into Minto today. I'm starting off by removing her cutie mark with a little bit of acetone. Next, I need to remove all of Rarity's hair. I'm going to remove her head by grabbing it and twisting it firmly to the side until it pops right out, just like that. Now, I have to remove the neck plug to get to the hair roots. Depending on what pony you're customizing, the neck plug might come out if you pull it with some pliers or tweezers. I know that Pinkie Pie and Nurse Red Hearts um, neck plugs come out really easily, but Rarities is not budging, so I'm actually going to grab my X-Acto knife and make a series of teeny tiny cuts all the way around the neck plug until I can just pull it right out just like that. Now, to make the hair removal process easier, I suggest cutting off all the hair. I like to grab a pair of big scissors and cut off as much of the hair as I possibly can and then switch over to some teeny tiny nail scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp. But you still have to get the hair roots out. They're anchored inside with a whole bunch of glue. So I'm going to reach in there with my pliers and pull out those chunks of hair and glue. The head's all prepped. Now it's time for the body. I've already cut out the neck plug with my X-Acto knife. Now I'm going to grab my scissors and cut off as much of the tail as I can. And just gonna toss that hair. I don't need it anymore. You can see the rest of the tail on the inside. Reach in there with your pliers or tweezers and pull it out. There is a little metal washer on the inside of the pony and I suggest pulling that out so that way you don't have problems rerouting the tail later on. Now my least favorite part of making a custom pony is connecting the two neck plugs back together. Um, the easiest way that I found is using the pliers to kind of squeeze them together. Now that the pony is completely prepped, it's time for customization. Raylin wrote a note. She said, Originally, Minto was white and sparkly, but the only thing she had was silver nail polish. So, Raylin, I am going to keep to your original design and make Minto white and sparkly. To do that, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous glittery top coat from Sally Hansen called Disco Ball. And I'm going to cover the entire body with one coat of that super sparkly nail polish. A little tip that I have for customizing is putting a paintbrush through the tail hole. It makes it a lot easier to completely cover the entire body with paint without running the risk of smudging it because you have to hold it with your fingers. This just makes it a lot faster. So I'm going to get that top coat on there. And this looks so pretty. Once the nail polish has completely dried, I'm going to go in and give Minto her cutie mark, which is a little peppermint. I'm using the end of a big paintbrush, pressing it down and creating a perfect little circle there for the mint. I'm just going to use a small paintbrush to evenly distribute that paint. I'm going to let that dry and now I'm going to go in with some red acrylic paint and give the mint its stripes. Off camera, I use some nail striping tape to mark out the sections of Minto's bottom hooves where she's going to get some mint stripes. I'm going in with some white acrylic paint and putting down a white base. 
I'm gonna let that dry and then go in with red acrylic paint and give her hooves a little red stripes just like a peppermint. While the paint is still a little bit wet, I'm going to go ahead and pull off that nail striping tape and it is going to leave me a perfect straight line and that looks so good. And now I need to do the other two legs and the body is completely done. And here's a little movie magic for you. Back legs are done. The body's completely, completely decorated. It's time for top coat. I'm going to put a layer of clear nail polish to completely seal in all of my work. And while that's drying, I'm going to start working on Minto's head. I like to put the head at the end of my pliers, and that makes it easier to paint the whole head without running the risk of smudging it with my fingers, which I have done before, and it is not fun going in to fix yourself once you've actually smudged some paint and I'm gonna give the entire head a coat of that disco ball nail polish and I did not paint over the eyes Minto's eyes are actually red so I'm going in with some red acrylic paint and I'm gonna cover Rarity's purple eyes and turn them into red now the thing with red eyes is that they kind of look a little evil so I'm going in with some shades of pink to give it like an ombre effect and make it look a little cuter instead of like evil looking now I'm gonna go in with some black acrylic paint and just go over her eyelashes because I got a little bit of glitter on them The last bit of detail on Minto's head is the candy stripe around her horn. So all I'm going to do is take my red acrylic paint and put it in the groove of Rarity's horn that's already there. And this looks so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and seal all of my work with a layer of clear nail polish so nothing gets chipped and let that completely dry. Once it has, it's time for hair. And for Minto's hair, I'm gonna be using Cherry Pie, which is a vibrant red color and virgin snow which is just solid white and I got this from dollyhair.com I'm taking a little batch of hair here and I'm gonna cut it into strands that are one quarter the original length and that is like the perfect length for these small g4 ponies I'm going to give Minto red and white striped hair. I've used a sharpie to kind of put little tick marks to section off the areas that are going to be red and white. To reroute, I like to grab a plug of hair just like this, fold it in half and put it around my finger. I'm going to use my rehairing tool that I got from dollyhair.com. It's a pronged needle, so I just kind of catch all the hair in between that prong just like that and you grab the head decide what hole you want that hair plug to go into and since it is a needle it's very sharp so you just press it right in and the first hair plug is in just like that you can see on the inside where it's anchored itself and you're just going to repeat that process over and over and over again until your pony has a brand new gorgeous head of hair
Once all the hair plugs are in, you're going to need to secure them or the hair will fall out when you play with the pony. I like to secure my hair using No Sew Glue. I use this brand. I squirt it directly inside of the head. And then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue all throughout the head. And the head's completely rerouted. I'm gonna put that to the side, let the glue dry, and work on Minto's tail. I have a bunch of hair here, um, a mixture of red and white. I've twist tied it together. I'm gonna press that through the tail hole, grab my pliers, reach in there, grab the end of that twist tie and pull it about halfway through. You do not wanna pull this tail all the way through or you're gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna remove the twist tie and replace it with a zip tie. And I'm going to tighten this as tight, 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 tight as I possibly can because you don't want any of that hair to get loose. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors, snip off the excess, and just pull that brand new tail all the way through. And just like that, Minto's new tail is in. Once everything has dried, it's time to put the head and the body back together. I like to use Gorilla Glue. I've put it on the bottom of that neck plug and I'm going to put it back onto the body. I'm gonna let that dry and once it's dried, I will glue the head back onto the body. Minto is completely finished. Let's take a look at the finished custom. Here she is and she is so sparkly and gorgeous. I am in love. Minto came out so, so cute. Rylan, I hope that you love Minto as much as I do and if your fan custom Friday pony was not selected this time around don't be too bummed I am going to be doing a second winter themed fan custom Friday in two weeks so you have a couple more days to get your winter ponies in if you haven't already thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye oh and stay tuned until the end of the video for the fan custom Friday giveaway details if you would like to submit your pony Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony.
you can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.